Returning volleyball players come to the team room on today, April 15th, after school, and meet our new head volleyball coach. <laughs> Support the Carriage Baseball team and cheer team on the Seattle Mariners. Join us for a fun night out at T-Mobile Park as we cheer on the Seattle Mariners against the Arizona Diamondbacks on Saturday, April 27th. 300 tickets are only $20 each. If you cannot attend the game but would like to purchase tickets to donate to the KR staff, please let us know. Please reach out to the Kent Ridge cashier, Christy Wright. <laughs> Flash sale, limited supply of last year's 2022 and 2023 yearbook on sale beginning at lunches until sold out. Cost is $50 cash, check, or credit card. Don't miss out. If you didn't get a chance to get your immunizations last month, will you have another opportunity? Wednesday, April 17th from 1 to 5 at KM. Register in advance with the link in the bulletin. Students, please restart your computers at least once per week. This is especially important for anyone taking the upcoming SBA test, it, and it also helps your computer stay healthy. SBA testing will continue for the rest of the month and May. Tabletop Club special event. Friday, April 26th, come for a mega tabletop club. We will meet from 2.15 until 4.30 in the library, allowing time for extended D&D adventures or an increased variety of board games, card games, and party games. Come join us for Game Fun Square. Spirit Week on Monday, today. You have barbecue bash and soccer sidelines. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is teacher versus student. Dress up as a teacher, students, and then teachers get to dress up as students. Mm -hmm. Really cool. On Wednesday, salad dressing. Freshmen, your house dressing. So basically, you get to wear like pajamas. Sophomores, your blue cheese. Wear the color blue. Junior is your thousand island. So like tacky Taurus. Have fun with that. And seniors, Greek dressing. Took a attire, Greek life, kind of do whatever you want. Be appropriate, though. Thursday, the hoedown throwdown, country theme. Wear your best western, wear a cowboy hat, wear some flannels, something cute. And then Friday, Southern Sweethearts Dance. Make sure you have bought your tickets. It's gonna be really fun. You have no school, so you have the whole day to get ready. It's a formal, semi-formal dance, so show up as your best self and dress to impress. There is inspo on Instagram. So check at KR Chargers for any inspo for this. All right, Chargers, we're also doing a rock, paper, scissors, row, sham, bow tournament throughout the entire school on Thursday, the day of the assembly. So you should all get a green set of beads in your first period. And then throughout the day, you can play rock, paper, scissors to try to acquire other people's beads. So you'll rock, paper, scissors with someone. And if you win, you take all of their beads that they have. And so hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have some finalists. And at the assembly, the finalists will compete. You'll come down to the floor and you'll compete to see who the Rochambeau champion is. A uh, few rules about our game. Uh, make sure that if your teachers are don't want you to play in class, you're being respectful. Try to do it during passing period. Uh, whenever you have free time, lunch, go around, challenge some friends. It'll be fun. Once you have five beads, you can challenge a teacher. So the teachers are gonna have gold beads and you can go up, play rock, paper, scissors, and try to get their beads. The goal, oh. Yeah, you're doing great, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Make sure you wear your beads to the assembly so that we know who is still in so you can compete at the end. And if you run out of beads, if someone beats you and you lose your beads, that's it for you. You're done. Sorry. There's no way to get back into the tournament. Um, yeah. Have fun. Be respectful. Woohoo! This went viral. Jada, please. No. No, it's Jada, actually. Hey, hey Chargers. Chargers! I'm Eden. And I'm Janice. And welcome back to KR Club Hub. So today we're introducing Key Club. So Janice, tell us what Key Club does. Okay, so Key Club is all about volunteering in our local community. And you can also connect with other Key Club members through events like Decon. How often does Key Club meet? So Key Club meets every other Wednesday in the library and they meet after second lunch, which is at 1220. Sounds exciting. And we just want to remind you guys to follow at KR Club Hub on Instagram as well as following Key Club on Instagram for more updates on the club. And here are some photos. Insert photos here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. See you guys next week. Bye. Yes. And make sure to go to Spring Fling this week.
on Friday. Facts, what she said. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hello Chargers. Welcome back to Mental Health Mondays with Morgan. I hope you all enjoyed your spring break. I hope you got a lot of time outside. Speaking of which, there's a lot of reasons why being outside improves your mental health and just your overall psychological functioning. The first reason why is mood improvement. Exposure to natural sunlight increases your overall serotonin levels, which can help decrease the chances or risks of depression. The next one is stress reduction. Uh, spending time outdoors helps to lower cortisol levels, uh, which is like a stress hormone, and it can lead to reduced stress and anxiety. The third is physical activity. Engaging in outdoor activities promotes exercise, releasing endorphins that elevate the mood, your mood and reduce stress. And the fourth one, last one, is cognitive benefits. Nature exposure enhances cognitive function, including attention, memory, and problem-solving skills. That's all for today, Chargers. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Horse Center. I'm your host, Sohama Judia. This is... Hope Johnson. And over there we have... Lightning McQueen, good job! We have Charles Schaefer. Our athletic events for tomorrow are JV Girls Tennis versus Featherweight. That is at home, 3.30 p.m. Additionally, we have Boys Soccer All at Home versus Kentwood. JV is at 5.30 and Varsity is at 7.30. Yep, they are. Wednesday, we have Girls Tennis, which is All at Home versus Decatur. JV and Varsity are at 3.30 p.m. Boys Varsity Baseball is playing Auburn and that's home at 7 p.m. On Thursday, we've got C-Team Boys Soccer versus Auburn Mountain View, home at 3.30 p.m. And Varsity Girls Softball versus Auburn High School, home at 4. This Friday, we have JV Boys Baseball versus Decatur, and that's home at 4 p.m. You guys know what else is on Friday? Um, I, have a, I have that funny feeling telling me that there is something on Friday, yeah. Do you know? So it's the Spring Fling. And that was Horse Center. We'll see y'all next week. Bye bye. Skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Hey, Malia, did you know that this week's Charger Dare is to go outside and enjoy nature? Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay. Here, Janice, let's go look at the bushes. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. I love the rain. I really like how all the plants are thriving right now. Me too, Janice. <laughs> What a beautiful day it is in nature. Hey guys, I found Charlie in the charger and he says, Go and join nature. <laughs> so, participate in this week's Charger Dares. Hello friends, and welcome back to Jada's Jams of Knowledge, where you ask your questions and I answer them. So let's get right into it, shall we? Oh, I'm getting a call, y'all. Let's see who it is. Oh, hello. Hey Jada, I was just wondering, when is Spring Fling? Well my friends, that is a wonderful question. And the answer is this Friday. The Spring Fling is this Friday. We have no school, so you have no reason not to go. You can get your ticket. Get your ticket right now, right this second. Go to Spring Fling. Bye. Someone asked, when is the pack going to be open? You guys said it would be open three months ago. Well, your wishes have come true, my friend. The pack is now open. So go ahead and walk through that new foyer, why don't you? How do you balance having good grades, doing a sport, and having a relationship? Girl, to be honest, I don't have any of these things, so I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> Hand in marriage? Well, now I have one of the three. Yes. Finally, how are you happy all of the time? <laughs> I actually don't know how to answer this. Just, it's the little things in life and like friends and family and stuff and like being appreciative and like being positive, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Kathleen? I, I know what you mean. Yeah, she. y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean, right? Well, my friends, this has been Jada's Gems. I hope you enjoyed yourself because I know I sure did. Did you, Kathleen? I did. Did you, Ella, up there in the spotlights? Yeah. I think she did, y'all. And that's all there is to it. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. This week's terminology turn up is the word explicit. A clear and easy to understand so that you have no doubt what is meant. My art teacher gives very explicit instructions so I understand exactly what to do.
All right, we're good. We're not cooked. See you next week, Chargers. Ciao. Chance